من أحلم العرب من أحلم العرب رجل كان يسمى الأحنف بن قيس رجل كان يسمى الأحنف بن قيس سألوه كيف ست قومك أربعين سنة قال لو عابوا الماء لتركته لأجلهم لو عابوا الماء لتركته لأجلهم the uh, most compassionate person in the Arab history before Islam, a man with, uh, with the name of Al-Ahnaf ibn Qais. Ahnaf ibn Qais, they asked him, how did you lead your people for 40 years? He said, if they complain about the water, I abstain myself from drinking from it. Means I don't argue with them whatsoever. If they say the water is no good, I'll leave that water. Even I am the leader of them. So I don't ask them why are you complaining about the water or what's wrong with the water. I simply leave them. <laughs> نظرة واحد من ثلاث إما أن يكون أفضل مني فأعترف بقدره أو أن يكون دوني فأترفع أن أنزل إلى قدره وإما أن يكون مساويا لي فأتفضل عليه Once they ask him about the rules of the argument he said, whenever that I find myself in the argument, I look at my opponent as a one of the three. He either could be higher than me in ranks, so I acknowledge his position and I will pay his due respect. Teacher is better than me, so why do I have to argue with the teacher? So I acknowledge his position, his status. Or he either can be lower than me in ranks. I would never drag myself, or I would never lead, let him drag me to his dirt. I would never go to his position if he's lower than me in ranks. And if, if we are equal to each other, I'll try to be better than him. Better than him. We are in the same situation, the same status. We are both workers. So what I do? I leave the argument for the sake of Allah. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من ترك الجدال أو من كظم غيظا من كظم غيظا وهو قادر على أن ينزل دعاه الله عز وجل على رؤوس الخلائق يوم القيامة ليختار من الحور العين ما شاء. So the Prophet of Allah said, one who controls one who controls his temper when he is able to respond. So if someone hits you, you're able to hit him back. Someone swear at you, you are able to swear back at him. Someone actually trying to put you down, you are able to give him peace of your life. You're able to respond to him. His name will be called up in the presence of the creation and the day of judgment to choose the best of his choice from the whole lane. It's a great reward. <coughs> they ask al Ahnaf ibn Qais, how did you learn compassion? Qala ta'allamtuha min Qais ibn Asim. Min Qais ibn Asim. Laqad kuntu fi majlisihi yawma. Fa'utiya bi rajulin maqtul 
ورجل مكتوف فالمقتول ولده والمكتوف ابن أخيه قالوا إن ابن أخيك قتل ابنك قال فوالله ما قطع حديثه ولا التفت إليهم حتى أكمل الحديث مع قومه ثم قال يا ابن أخي أثمت بربك قطعت رحمك وقللت عددك ورميت نفسك بسهمك ثم قال لولد من أولاده خذ لأمه مئة ناقة لية ولدها فإنها غريبة بينها When they asked Ahnaf ibn Qais How did you learn compassion? He said I learned it from a man His name Asim Aqais ibn Asim One day I was his, in his gathering And he was talking to his own people Suddenly a group of people that like they brought to him two men. One of them was dead and the other one was tied up. The one who was dead was his son. And the one who is tied up is nephew. And so they told him, your nephew killed your son. He said, by Allah, he did not even respond to them. He finished his speech. He finished what he had to say. And then he looked at his nephew and he said, Look what you did. You committed an evil sin. And you destroyed your kinship. And your degrees, your relative's number. And then he looked at his one of his children and told him, Take a hundred camel to his mother as a compensation for his death. Dia, she is a stranger in our tribe. So this is the compassion, this is what we need to learn. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, We need to practice compassion. It is easy to practice compassion with the stranger. It's very simple, very easy. You just basically you walk away. But the real challenge to practice to be compassionate with your own family. When you are dealing with your own family. When you are dealing with the with the closest of your relatives. With your spouses. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. تخاصم مع عائشة عليه السلام فرفع فرفع صوتها عليه فدخل أبو بكر الصديق أبوها وأراد أن يضربها فما كان من النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إلا أن وقف بينها وبين أبي بكر وقال ما لهذا دعوناك يا أبو بكر ما لهذا دعوناك يا أبو one day the Prophet of Allah had a very severe argument with Aisha. May Allah be pleased with her. She raised her voice. Abu Bakr was passing by, so he entered the, 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 uh, the house of the Prophet of Allah to, to find out what's the argument all about. And he realized that Aisha raised her, her voice over the voice of the Prophet of Allah. So he came, he stood up to slam her face. So the Prophet of Allah stood between him and her. And he said, This is not what we this is not what we need you here for. So you need to practice compassion. Wallahi, 99% of divorce nowadays, people they have no patience. No patience whatsoever when they face a small a little problem they run away from it 
the easiest way to get yourself out of the trouble, divorce. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam We need to practice compassion, sabr, patience. Life is full of the challenges. Wallahi, without patience, we cannot survive. Inna Allaha asalina. Sabirin. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called, Ulaika I will bashir a sabirin, and the Nina Sabatum Musiba Kalu, in the Lila, or in the Rajul, Shulja Ekwana Ulaika Alayim, Salawatum Rabbi, Warahma, or Ulaika Munu. But the Gasamanak. But the Gasamanak. Salawam Nallah Zoya, or Rahma Nallah Ali. وانت من من المهتدين والله عز وجل مع الصابرين والله عز وجل معك ويكتب اسمك في في ديوان الملائكه وتدخل الجنه مع الصابرين يوم القيامه. نعم. الله عز وجل ان يكرمنا ويشفينا. الله جميعا.